Hi. Today I'll be discussing how to actually join a Windows 10 professional to a domain controller. So if you are working in a company and you have um, a domain controller, pro probably you have your primary and secondary domain controller, and you want to add a workstation to your domain controller. So how do you go about that? First of all, um, you will need to make sure that you are able to access the domain controller from the command prompt that you can you, you could ping the domain controller. So if I go to my workstation and I go to the start menu, and here I just type CMD. First of all, I'll need to check my IP address and see if it is properly configured. So then I can try to ping the domain controller. So that's my domain controller. So probably the pinging is working very well. So if I try to ping the host name of the domain controller as well, if the reverse DNS is properly configured, sure, I can ping the domain controller as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, go to the system properties, just go to system. And here I'm just going to go to my system info and then go to change settings. Here we have the option, as you can see, the full computer name is still the default name which was given to, the, to this computer when it was installed um, from the beginning. So, so we still need to change the name to give it a, um, a, a name, a, a, a reasonable name, and not just the desktop dash TKE and something like that. So to do that, actually, I will need to go to change. Here I have the option of actually changing the computer name and at the same time joining this computer to the domain controller so what I can also have the option to go to click more and here if for example you you, you are having problem connecting or you need to enter a specific DNS uh, primary DNS office of this computer you can as well put it here but we don't need that for now so I'm just going to change this computer to I think C03 and my domain um, name is then click OK so if everything is actually correct, you'll be asked to provide your um, admin credentials, which will um, allow you to actually join this workstation to your domain server. So I'm just going to enter my admin credentials name and password. Click OK. And here, when I click OK, so you see, it says welcome to the Prevay ICT a domain. So if I, I'm going to click OK. So after clicking OK, it's telling me that I will need to restart my computer for the um, changes to be applied. So I'm just going to click OK and click Close. And here it's asking me to restart now or restart later. So let me just restart now to show you the effect of the changes we've made. So during the restart, I'm going to go now to my domain controller. So it says getting Windows ready. And let me start, act let me go just open Active Directory. And here, if I go to under my under computers in my domain controller here, and you can see the computer has been joined to this domain control. So probably if you didn't see anything actually here, because um, the when you join a new computer to um, act to your um, a workstation to active um, directory or to your to a domain server, automatically the computer will be placed in the organization you need called computers. So in most organizations actually they have um, a different organization name than the default organization name which was which is created when you promote a server to a domain to a domain controller. So I'm just going to click. So just click here and then try to refresh, and then you'll see that the computer will definitely appear here. You have some basic information about this computer. So the information when the computer starts here, you will receive the name, the version of this operating system. So I'm just going to click this, and then what actually what you actually need to do is to move this um, computer to a different organization unit. Probably you have some policies which are linked to this um, organization unit and not to the default um, organization unit that was created when um, Active Directory was um, was installed. So I'm going to remove this computer to this 
hit to laptops and just click yes and probably when i log on to this computer some other policies which of course is applied to this organization unit laptops will be applied to the computer as well so let's go back to the computer and see so there are some updates that have been installed let me just wait and pause this computer and when the update is completed i will try to log on again so here you can see the, the um, work session we joined to the domain server has been restarted. So when you try to log on to the uh, workstation, don't just log on to the former name you were used to log on, but you need to click on other user. And here you see you have the sign in to, so you, that is your domain name. And here you just type um, a name which have access to this domain. Let me just use a user without admin privilege. password and here you can see we have been logged on as Nora Johnson to the domain prevail ICT less point ba so we are locked we, we are now logged on to the computer and if I go to the system properties of this computer let me just go to system and here when I click system info to have more information here you can see that this computer belongs to the domain prevail ICT license.ba. So if I go to my domain controller in Active Directory, and here you can see we have a laptop and the computer name. If I go to operating system, you can see the info has been populated here with the name and version of the operating system we have installed. So that is how easy it is to actually install, join a Windows or a Windows 10 professional or Windows 10 enterprise workstation to a domain uh, controller. So thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video. If this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for my IT related video. And also, don't, if you have any um, question about uh, Windows uh, Server, any or Windows 10 operating system, Office 365, SSCM, and Microsoft Intune, please just try to send me a personal email or leave a comment and I will reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much. My name is Kelvin Johnson. See you next time. Goodbye.